Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, India. And as you can tell by the title, I'm about to show y'all how to do a little DIY at home, a little Virgil, a little off-white inspired pillow. As you can see, it's sitting beside me. I love this. Like, this is, is giving me all of the vibes in my house. Like, this match my vibe perfectly. If you have a vibe similar to me, um, I like to call it like a hype beast vibe, urban type of thing. Like when I look for home decor for my house, for my current style, I always look up hype beast decor because that's the only thing that gives me what I want. It gives me like baked decor, off white, a little, a little bit of everything. If I show you guys up here, which I will in a second because I want to show you something else, um, you will see exactly what I mean. I have some Basquiat. I have some. Um, more off-white, I have Andy Warhol, and I also have Keep Hearing designs in my house. If you like that vibe as well, stay tuned to figure out how to DIY some of this stuff. And we're gonna start off with the off-white inspired pillow. Before we get started, I do wanna give a disclaimer that this is just for DIY purposes. I am not selling any of these, so I don't want no copyright infringements. I don't want no trouble with Virgil. This is just, you know, me paying respect to his work in my own house. And I also, I didn't really talk throughout the video, so I wanna tell you where I got everything from, which is just Ikea. Um, I bought the pillow case from Ikea, and then I bought the stuffing that went along with it. I would say it was no more than 20 bucks. Um, you do have to have a Cricut machine or a Cameo silhouette or something like that. Um, and also a heat press. I have an easy press and I have a heat press for this project. I use the heat press as you will see. Um, any pillow cover, any pillow stuffing, you can actually get like just the, the cotton stuffing from somewhere like Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joanne, something like that. And then any outside pillow case cover, even a regular little um, pillow cover that you use for your bedroom pillows, you can do it on there as well. It doesn't have to be like a couch pillow, so. If you try this design, please tag me in it at Indie West Coast. I would love to see you guys' renditions of this DIY. But I love this pillow and I can't wait to put it in its final resting place. So let's get right into the video. Hey y'all, to start off this project, the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. And once you're in Design Space, go ahead and type out your word. In this case, my word was pillow because in true off-white fashion, you state the obvious. So I want a pillow that says pillow. So I went ahead and wrote the word out. And then once I have my word with no typos, you go ahead and you search for the font that you wanna use. Off-white font is Helvetica New Bold, but you can use any font if you're not going for the off-white look. It can be cursive or whatever else that you want it to be. And just to make sure that I had the correct off-white font, I went ahead and did a Google search. I literally Googled what font is off-white font and it told me Helvetica New Bold. So I went with that. Once you're back in Cricut Design Space and change your font, you're going to make sure that the spacing between all of your letters is how you want it. If you don't know how to do that, I just went ahead and ungrouped my words and then I just used my cursor to bring them closer or further apart from each other. And once I got done with it, I just highlighted everything, grouped it back together, and then I think I welded it. It may be a different way, but that's the way that I know how to do it inside of Cricut Design Space. And after that, I just played with the letters until it was to my liking and then I blew it up to a bigger size as you will see me doing here. Once you have the word to the sizing of your liking, it's now time to make it. In this step, please make sure that you have your image mirrored or it's going to come out wrong. Here I'm just showing you the materials that I use from Ikea. This is the inside filler and this is the cover that I put on top of it. And I used some scrap pieces of vinyl that I already had laying around the house and laid it on my Cricut mat. I'm using this big mat because my little one is a bit dirty, so don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, any mat works for your Cricut. Just lay that scrap piece down and put it right up inside of that Cricut machine. Again, please make sure that everything is mirrored on your image. Yeah. <laughs> 
Once you unload your mat, now it's time for the fun part. I like to peel my vinyl off and cut off the excess vinyl that wasn't even used so I can use that as a scrap piece. Like the piece that I'm using now is a scrap from another project. So go ahead and save those pieces. You never know when you can use it again, especially if it's a, a good chunk. So that's always a recommendation to save, 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 save those scraps. Next up is the most satisfying and fun part of the whole project, which is weeding the letters out of your vinyl. I love this process. It just, I don't know, it just gives me so much peace. It's like a little therapeutic. So go ahead and weed out that vinyl girl or boy. <laughs> Right now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get all of the wrinkles out of the pillowcase because um, it's going to help with better placement of my words. I'm still waiting for my temperature to get to 305. We're at 286 so while I'm waiting I'm just using this as a time to get all of these wrinkles out from it being folded together for such a long time in its original packaging. So. As you guys can see, I have my pillow text here that we just cut out from the Cricut machine and I want to place it in the middle of my pillowcase. I'm guessing where the middle is. I think this is too high up from the bottom. I feel like this a little bit higher. You guys play around with, around with the placement. You can do different methods like folding the pillow in half and then half the other way so you can definitely have the center that's one trick but I don't I don't feel like doing it I don't care that much this could also be bigger the pillow text itself um, I don't remember how much it was but it wasn't the full 12 inches across definitely shorter than that so you can do that as well but I think this is good for me right here with pillow is laying. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it on there. First, I'm gonna just put my Teflon sheet down on top of this and here we go. I don't know if I said it or not, but I'm using scissor easy weed vinyl. So the temperature is 305 degrees for 15 seconds. I'm going to do it one more time before I actually peel off the plastic. You can go over it however many times you want, but once you start to see the fabric like seeping through the vinyl, that's how you know when it's is ready. Let's pull this off. Now, let's see you guys. Let me bring y'all a little closer let you get y'all zoomed in or something as you can see we have pillow on the pillowcase i'm going to press it one more time maybe two with just the teflon sheet on top So now the hard part is done and we have our pillow that says pillow. So now I want to open this pillow filler, I guess, and go ahead and put that inside. Beat it up a little bit, give it some fluff up in here. We'll ruffle some feathers, <laughs> literally.
And then we have is the Off-White Inspired Pillow from Ikea DIY at Home. I love this. This is actually giving, it's giving Off-White, y'all. Definitely giving Off-White. Let's put it in this final resting place. So along with the pillow, I just wanted to mention something else that I created is this, <laughs> is this, um, I'm trying not to show you guys too much of the background, is this art right here that says art, literally. Um, I love the idea of naming things, just obviously what they are, like Virgil's a genius, like shoelaces, left foot, right foot, I think that's like, it's giving dementia, but... <laughs> It's giving dementia, but it's cute at the same time. So um, I didn't know an idea to put for a picture and I was like, art. Like, just make a picture that says art. So that's really easy to do as well. I did it in Photoshop, but you can go to somewhere like Canva and just whatever size that you want your frame to be. I think this is like 11 by 13. I just went in there and I wrote art with quotes around it. And fun fact, you guys, I have quotes on the back of my neck here. And here, I don't know if you guys if you guys are able to see that, but I get questions about my tattoos all the time when I'm out in public. So the air quotes, the quotes, the quotes is me, okay? Virgil, we're on to something here, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I, I just thought that this thing just saying simply saying art was like genius in a way, and it looks so good up here on my shelf that I'm gonna show you guys. You just go on Canva, go on Photoshop, and create from the document like how big you want it. Like I said, I think mine is 11 by 17. Write art, put some quotes around it, and then I want to, oh, and I added a black background. That's how that is. But it can be any color that you guys want. And then I got that printed on walmart.com. You can go get stuff printed at places like FedEx, Staples, Walmart, Walgreens even has some, CVS. So just look around. I'm gonna say this cost me no more than 10 bucks to get it printed. And then I got the frame itself from Ikea, so that's another Virgil hack. Look at the pillow right here, like, ah, I love that. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that last hack with you guys as well. And I haven't showed this on my channel, but this is my picture leg. I'm so in love with it. It's my favorite part of my house, really. I don't have any lights on, but this is where the art sits, and I, you know, this just gives me peace. <laughs> this is right above my couch, and it just brings me so much peace, like, Look at this, you guys. I love it so much. So if you're interested in knowing where I, how I did all of this, it's like DIY'd as well. So if you're interested, I can show you guys where and how to do that as well. But that's for another video. That is it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel as well. Like I said, if you guys make this project, please tag me at Indie West Coast. I would love to see it. And that's all I have for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.